Hey, it's Bridget. Welcome to Sunday Morning Coffee with Bridget, our podcast here on Above Life Channel. I am going to talk about the topic of consistency. Consistency. Uh, it sounds like I'm talking about pudding. I'm not. <laughs> I'm talking, I don't know why that came to mind. I have been working on uh, core values and uh, feeling into my authenticity and recognizing a lot of shifts and things as many of us have over the course of the past few years, especially with that whole pandemic thing going down, you know, like it shook us all, right? Especially, especially everyone. I'm just going to say that. I'm not going to say especially parents with kids home and people graduating from school and major life altering change moments where they're never going to get back the opportunity to walk graduation or go to prom or see somebody get married or attend that um, memorial service, et cetera, in person. Like, you know, there's been so many things, right? And we've been forced into relationship more deeper to look at our relationships and not just with our intimate relationships with our family, but the intimate relationship with ourselves. So the authenticity for me piece is coming from that space. So we are going to talk about consistency because consistency is one of the core values that has, has risen up for me in my work with a coach and with a counselor as well, that when I identify my core values, consistency is one. So I wanted to talk with you about that as I am kind of pondering this myself. I got my journal out, which you know, if you're familiar with my work at all on Above Life Channel or on Fairy Grasshopper YouTube, you know that the journal is key, okay? And a good pen too, a good pen. I got, I got a couple good pens around here, but journal is key because it gives you a place, a safe place to kind of sort things out if you need to, okay? So, Let's talk about consistency. Let's first feel it. You know, words are so important. You know, you know, right? Like we've talked about that, how words are vibrational and bring a understanding or sense of connection and communication between our mind and our soul, our spirit, your intuition, right? Because that's part of why you watch here. Why you're here and you listen to this work is because of the intuitive part, the soulful part, and that there's a desire to have this relationship, this solid relationship within yourself between your soul, your intuition, between your heart and your feeling and emotion and your mind, your freaking brain. There's a fourth thing, which is your body. And we're going to talk about that too in an upcoming podcast. So consistency when we feel into the energy of this, let's feel energetically, intuitively, using your soul and your heart. What does this mean? So if we take the word consistency and we break it down, we say constant. It's a constant. So you can use your journal and actually journal on this topic and say, what does consistency mean for me when I break it down, the word itself? What are the alternate or subset words that come from it? Because sometimes it's easier to feel into the pieces and particles and then kind of put it back together and look, step back and look at the big pattern of what the real meaning is for this, for you. And you're probably thinking, well, why is this important, Bridget? How is this spiritual? Because consistency is key in any spiritual practice, any personal development practice, any wealth or any health probably wealth too, health, wealth, or wellness practice. <laughs> Consistency is very important. It's essential, in fact, to our success and our overall happiness. So when we break this down, what comes to me first, so you can do this in your journal on your own, consistency, what comes to mind, what comes to me first, um, I said mind, energetically, right? metaphysically, energy-wise, constant. What is constant? This really kind of leads to things such as the need to feel secure, the need to feel safe. I'm envisioning my college psychology class of the Maslow's hierarchy of needs, food, clothing, and shelter, the basic needs, right? To feel safe. This is important. There's a lot of talk about feeling safe. 
or feeling a sense of, of stability or stableness, steadiness within yourself because the environment is not predictable. But within you, people talk about like the Buddhist teachings about um, the response, like how you respond, that's where you have control or in trauma informed care, traumatic situations. There's been a lot about this, especially during the pandemic, the stuff with Oprah and Dr. Bruce Perry um, about trauma, trauma informed care and understanding how trauma affects us. Consistency is one of the pieces that you can recreate or create within yourself that cause a, a change or a shift in a good way where you have a home base, a safe home base, a way to manage or flow or work with emotions or intensity of situations or circumstances such as anxiety um, uh, or, or challenging relationships and memories also as well that could be traumatic or even just challenging to you or stressful. Okay, because stress is a trauma response, it's a trauma thing. Okay, so everybody's had it, especially with the pandemic, everybody can have, everybody has it, right? So consistency leads into this need to be safe, to feel safe and protected. Now, we can take that into a place of overachieving, recognizing that the need to feel safe and protected can kind of lead us or lend us into an energy of needing to be comfortable. And that keeps us away from trying new things and, and putting ourselves out there and taking risks because it's not, it doesn't feel worth it because our goal is to stay safe, right? And to be comfortable is not to be out there putting yourself out there, starting a YouTube channel. That is not about comfort and safety, let me tell you. If you wanna feel safe and secure, that is not the place to achieve that. However, consistency or a constant is something that we can use to create a routine, a rhythm and a pattern in a way that serves us. So you've heard about patterns, right? Like identify your patterns in order to be able to change your behavior. So patterns is a thing like, oh, I'm repeating a cycle, like in relationships, you're dating the same person, you're marrying the same person over and over again, that for example, or you're um, choosing the same things over and over again, you, you have this habit or pattern and you try to break that cycle, break the pattern, right? So we can use patterning to help us. We can actually use it to our benefit by creating something that's constant, that is consistent, where we can rely upon that. We can create a structure, which a structure can provide a sense of security energetically, like a scaffolding. You don't have to fill it all in and put walls around and sometimes walls or even bars around you to kind of keep the bad guys out and the bad energies or the bad emotions or the bad feelings out, keep yourself safe and comfortable can become a cage or a prison. So we have to create some structure using something that's constant, a pattern, that rhythm, so like a routine, like every day I do this, every day I do this, every day I do this, or at this time I do this, at this time I do this. It's like when the kids have school, they have it at the same time every day. It creates a, a rhythm, a routine, something you can rely upon, something that's predictable. So in trauma-informed care, predictable, repetitive movement is something that's really key, right? It, it, it calms the nervous system. It, it allows for a sense of like that rocking, like the motion of being in the womb space, that, that comforting, soothing energy, right? And you can have that without it being the only thing, um, comforting, soothing energy is about the way, not the destination. So finding ways to soothe yourself in moments of stress, finding ways to soothe the fear or to soothe the unknown, the things that we don't have control over, to soothe the worry and the emotional energy of those fears and that, that stress. The soothing is the way that we handle and manage our way. We navigate our way through life. It is not the destination. So comfort is not the goal. It is not the destiny. It's not the house. It's, it's the vehicle, the car that gets you traveling from here to there. That's what it is. So we can choose that through a constant in our lives, for, through creating constants. And when we do that, it's consistency. 
And it's about, um, with high achievers, for example, it's about showing up, right? And sometimes you guys, high achieving literally means getting your butt out of bed, getting into the shower and getting to work. Even if you're an hour late, you got there. You showed up for the shower. <laughs> you cleaned the body. It is hard to do that. I am not making fun of that. That is legitimately hard. It is hard sometimes to get out of the bed, to even get out of the bed if you're struggling with deep depression, intense grief, emotional trauma, physical trauma. Your physical body may have been through a lot. You may have had an operation or a diagnosis. It can take a lot just to get out of bed, to brush your teeth. making a healthy breakfast or having some kind of healthy morning routine, whether it's just a hot cup of water, hot cup of tea, a coffee, something that you can rely upon day after day after day that is a routine that becomes something that's, that provides a comfort or a soothing way to step into your day is gonna be really helpful. And that's like overachieving in some ways because it's like showing up for yourself consistently over and over and over again. Yeah, so I value consistency. And, and it's interesting and it feels a little bit ironic because I don't feel like I have that very much right now. I have that through my relationships with others, through the needs of my kids and their school routines and um, doctor's appointments, counseling appointments, things like that. And that's the one thing that I have for myself that's consistent is coaching appointments or counseling appointments or that kind of a thing. But, oh, and I have my work. I have Sunday morning coffee on Sundays and I have Monday um, channeling videos that I share on Above Life Channel. And then on Fairy Grasshopper throughout the week, I just kind of sprinkle those in over there. Usually it's twice a week I try to post over there. And, and I post on Instagram every day. That's consistent. Those are consistent things. It's interesting how my work is what's providing me the consistency. That's my constant. But when I think about it, it makes complete sense because that's my soulful presentation. That is my soul showing up. And I'm also using my brain with all the technology pieces and things, right? That I have to do, not just the creating of the content, but the posting it and the tags and the different, diff multiple different softwares I use for different things. And so, it adds, my brain works with my soul and my spirit to express the purest, most authentic version of me is my work. So for you, consistency or, or being constant might literally be creating a pattern, starting a new pattern, a new ritual. Maybe you journal in the morning for a while and it doesn't mean you have to do it every day for the rest of your life now. It might last for a month. You might have to do a new one, a new kind of ritual each month or every three months or seasonal. Like for me, I'm a really big um, seasonal rhythmic person. So when the seasons change, I change and I give myself permission to reconnect just like almost like the new year. Every time a season changes, I kind of feel into the season, decide how I want to connect with it and what it means for me as I'm moving forward. So you, I would encourage you to use that as well if that's something that fits for you. Some people do use the beginning of the month to kind of set the tone for the month. Some people use um, the school year to do that. Some people will use the moon cycles, the full moon clearing and the new moon setting intention. Okay, that's within, new moon is within time, full moon is clearing and, and getting clarity and getting info kind of energies. Okay, so you can use a lot of different things to set a pattern and create consistency. That's really interesting to me too, because I can do it more than what I'm doing it now, than what I'm doing now to honor the value of that. So I think about this now, then you take this concept and put it into like the expression of relationships, because a lot of times relationships are mirrors back to you either what's lacking, like what's missing for you, or um, gives you more clarity on what you desire then because you know what's missing, because you feel that disconnect, or it, it affirms you 
it, it, it fuels you, it inspires you, it keeps you moving, it gives you that inspirational energy, right? So I think about consistency in relationships, probably the most consistent relationships I have are with my kids mm -hmm. and here with you <laughs> and with you because I've been doing Sunday morning coffee for well over a year now. It's well over a year. There's way more than 50, 52 episodes, way more. So yeah, so that and my kids though, my kids, like being a, a parent, being a mom, lots of consistency there. But yet, is there? Yeah, I think there is. Because I am the, I, I show up. So I have the ability to be present. So consistency or, or a constant, a, a component of this would be showing up and being present. So I would write that down in my journal. That's what I would write down, consistency because then I can journal on more of these pieces. And so what's coming up for you, pay attention from what I've said and what's kind of bubbling up into your, your mind, you're becoming aware of. Show up and presence. There's a difference between present, showing up and being present, very different. In fact, I should do a Sunday morning coffee on that. Let's have a conversation about that. So. This conversation isn't about necessarily giving you an answer or telling you what you should do. Three easy steps to make your life perfect. How to understand your intuition. Maybe how to better your relationship with yourself would be a better way to describe that for sure is probably more accurate. Understand the relationship within you with your mind and your soul, right? Because the mind loves the words and intellectual stuff. I bet you could find some quotes and maybe even some books with the topics of consistency. Maybe for you, it's about safety and security, a sense of feeling secure. Maybe the word unknown comes up and control. The things that you do not have control over, maybe it's about expectation or what you can expect, which is about the known, right? Versus the unknown or having, having control over things so you can predict that and not able to predict it. Mm. See how consistency as a value would be good? Because somebody might say, I value knowing. Like I need to know. But really you maybe don't value the knowing or the needing to know. It's the underneath the needing to know, underneath the consistency is this value of knowing that I can create my life, my reality, I can create for myself that which I need, the stability that I need, the home base that I need is me. It's not the external environment. It's not even the people that love me or that I love. It's me. That's me. So for you, that's you. It really is you. And when you're fighting inside yourself, and I do that same thing too, try to talk myself into having to get a shower in the morning. Or for me, it's usually... Um, Huh. Lately, I've been struggling with, I create content, I've created videos and things and services and all that, and I haven't shared them. I'll have this great idea and I'll get all, I'll do all the work for it. And then I just won't share it. I won't share it. I just won't do it. At least I'm consistent by creating good stuff, but I'm not sharing it, which is, that's a challenge, right? That's, that's, that's a thing. So we all have things that resistance and parts that will show up, but at least I'm consistent in the creating. I haven't stopped creating. You haven't stopped getting out of bed. It might be hard, but you haven't stopped. And maybe you have half the time you're out of bed and half the time you're not. Hey, kudos on you for the half the time that you are. We got to stop crushing ourselves and beating up on ourselves for what we're not doing and what we're not being and honor and celebrate high five, woo. Oh, I like Mel Robbins, high five, high five yourself in the mirror. Mel Robbins, so you can check that stuff out. Google that up if you want additional stuff about that. Uh, high five yourself. Celebrate what you are doing because that will create the positive momentum. It will create the momentum. It will create a consistency in the positive thoughts, positive energy. It will move you forward then so you don't feel stuck. 
right? Yeah, because you matter. You do. What you value matters too. It does. It's time that we both start acting like it and leverage our values. And then maybe we'll leverage our value, our self-worth, our worthiness, and it'll be easier to talk nicer to ourselves. It'll be easier to believe in ourselves if we do that. Let's start with some consistency. I'd love to see in the comments what comes up for you around this topic, other words that come through or things that maybe are, are um, resistance points that you're feeling some hot hotness around that you kind of don't want to touch really, but you're willing to write the word down and then go someplace else <laughs> for a while. How are the, what are the things that you um, have built in your life that are consistent? And what are the things that you'd like to put in place that create a consistency for you that can support you as you show up and be present and work with what you do have control over, which is you. So this is Bridget. Thanks so much for being part of this Sunday morning coffee podcast with Bridget. I appreciate you so much. I hope I've inspired your spirit and filled you with some hope today and encouraged you to live your life. This is your life after all, and you get to live it. Just live it. Thanks for being here. Can't wait to read your comments.